Want to see a cool card trick? Happy hobby. Look, everyone knows opening packs of cards is a lot of fun, but almost as fun as sorting those cards. Okay, not right. Sorting cards is no fun whatsoever, but we're going to show you a little tip that's going to make card sorting a little bit easier. Now, before we show you that cool little card trick, I first want to say if you're a sports card collector and you're working with a limited budget, you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's what I talk about. I share tips. I do blind graded card reveals. I open boxes. We do a whole bunch of stuff, but it's aimed towards those dealing with a limited budget like I am trying to collect sports cards. Okay, so first let's talk about sorting cards. Why do you want to sort the cards? Why do you want to have them uh, in any order whatsoever? Well, you want to do that because you want to be able to find that card quickly when you need to. If you made a trade or if you made a sale, if you need to know if you have that card or where it is, you want to get to it quickly. So in order to do that, you sort the cards, especially we're talking specifically about base cards, keeping that series in order so you can get those cards quickly. And by putting them in order, you also know which ones you have duplicates of so that you can then trade them. Now, a lot of people sort cards by teams. That's fine. This is not for you. This is different. This is sorting cards by this, the number on the back, the card number. If you sort cards by the hundreds and you're trying to do it quickly and you're going by the number and you try to, you want this one in front, this one, this one, but you got to make sure that one. And the more you're touching them, the more you're, the more opportunities you have to ding the card, especially when you're putting them in front of and in, in back of other cards. A lot more chances to damage the cards when you're sorting the way we're going to show you you're just putting them out stacking them and then you're going to pick them up and do it again so you're you're touching them but not nearly as much as shuffling them back and forth within each other now the way we're going to show you is actually easier if you have more cards if you only have like 30 cards that's not that difficult to sort those by number you could just lay those out and do them real quick but if you have 100 cards hundreds of cards a thousand cards then you definitely want to do it this way we're going to use top series one from 2022. That series one goes from one to 330. So it's those 330 cards that we're going to be sorting, trying to put them in order. Okay. So as I mentioned, we're going to do base cards only. And first, you know, these cards, the tops, they come all in different. So first go through and, and make sure you uh, put them all facing the right way. First thing. So I'm, I took about a little over 100 cards. That works for this experiment. And uh, let me move this out of the way. And now we're going off of that, these numbers right here. So in this first go, we're going off. So it's 275. We're going to do that first, that five right there. That's the first number. It's actually the third number, but that's the one we're going to start with. So the five goes up in this top corner spot. And then just remember that's how it's going to go. So the eight's going to go there because we're going to have the nine where you would think. So I'll just kind of go through these quickly. Okay, so now once they're done, you kind of shore them up a little bit. Keep them from sliding all over each other. Banging into each other. So now the first round, you're doing the, the first numbers, you go from the nine onto the eight, onto the seven, onto the six, onto the five, three, two, one, zero. And then now we're gonna go from the second number on that card. So for instance, this is gonna go in the eight stack. And we're just gonna do the same thing. This is gonna go in the zero stack. And we're just gonna do the same thing. All right, so we got all the stacks again after the second go round. We're, on, we're more than halfway done because the third round is actually much quicker because it's, we're gonna go off the third number but I'll get into that second. Now, this time on the second, in the second turn, we wanna go from 
zero to one to two to three, all the way up. So we're gonna stack these cards this way. Don't do that though. <laughs> All right, so now we're down to this final stack and we're only gonna be making four stacks now. We're going off the zero, the one, the two, and the three because there's only 330 cards in this set. So there's no 400, series, 400 set, 500. All right, so for instance, this is a one. So put that here. That starts at three, so we'll put that here. And that starts, so it's zero, so it goes here. And then again, you wanna go in succession here. You don't wanna do batches of them at, at a time. All right, so we got all of our stacks here done. And obviously you pick up the 300s first. So they're at the end of the stack. Remember, this is the back of the cards, all the way down to the ones. And so, if you look at the card numbers now, they should all be in order. Right? 315, 308, 302. All the way down through hundreds. And all the way down to the final cards. So that's, uh, that's how we do it. Now imagine doing this with a thousand different cards. You'd have a bunch of stacks and it'd be a lot easier than doing it uh, just by hand, trying to put each stack together. This is just a mindless way to do it. Watch a movie, have a cup of coffee. You'll catch some of the mistakes you make and you can, you can swap them around then, but this is way easier than doing it the other way. All right, so what'd you think? Was that easier? Did it look like it's gonna be easier? Now, you're gonna to have to do it a couple of times really to make it a routine so you know exactly what you're doing with the stacks. You won't have to write down which numbers go where. So do it a couple of times, you'll get better at it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this tip and if there's something you can share that's a, a way that you do sorting that might be easier, might be more helpful. I wanna know, our viewers wanna know, so make sure you drop it in the comments. Whatever you do, make sure you have a happy hobby.